Hi. I'm going to read a poem that I did not write. It's by Fauzi Nicholas, and it's called A Pertinence. My little sister's name is Paisley. Mom saw it in a mail order catalog. The word described the pattern of a brassiere that she could not afford to buy. Paisley slipped a cylinder of mom's lipstick into my laundry when I wasn't looking, leaving my jeans streaked in a rhubarb glaze, my shirts coughing up blood. I could wring her little paisley neck with my ruined paisley socks, or melt her paisley toys in the belly of our paisley dryer. I could, but I'd really like to hear her say the words, I'm sorry, not so that she really means it, but so she never has to say it again. Thank you. I'm gonna try to do this without a microphone. Sound good. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yes. All right. Don't eat Chinese food after midnight. You'll be sorry. Have nightmares about being in a bar that serves nothing but whole milk. And Richard Brodigan will follow you around, pinching your ass, asking if you want to taste his watermelon sugar. You and Ann Sexton will escape to the bathroom, share a flask of brandy, where she'll tell you, if you put a pertinence in that goddamn poem, I'll put this cigarette out on your hand. And she's got that medicated, glazed look in her eyes again that says she ain't playing. So you go back outside where the lights give off paisley patterns on the dance for. Flap is singing along to that Rihanna song about umbrellas that is stuck on repeat, folding her laundry on the bar, and Hemingway shoots the jukebox and orders another round of milk for everybody but Keats, who sits in the corner with his arms crossed, rhubarb red with despair with a capital D, so Sexton shouts at him to stop being such a fucking buzzkill, throws her, brass, her last at his hand, but you wait before she can tell you if she's got good aim. <laughs> I'm going to try without the mic. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm good. So okay. I'm here. Okay. Short and sweet. Poem is called Alignment. Hanging laundry disrupts the sun zigzagging through splayed rhubarb and paisley coleus and things that grow in the daytime dead, but not in the dark glades of fog of night. When there are no chores and say, I'm sorry, makes sense. Until grammar, the appurtenance of proper speech, strong talk between heart, mind, and mouth, retracts, and we lie forward for later hours alignment and light. Woo!